Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the different risk factors for getting TMJ. First of all, 80% of the TMJ victims are women. So right there I get so many people that email me. <laughs> that answers a lot of your questions right there. Um, second of all, the highest percentage that get treated for TMJ, you won't find this in a publication, but is people that have teeth removed for braces. Now there's different patterns of removing teeth that we're going to touch on today. Some people have two teeth removed on the top, two teeth removed on the bottom. I think that's probably the most common. That's the four on the floor technique. Um, some folks just have the two removed on the top and nothing removed on the bottom. Well, they're already actually higher risk than the four and fours because what happens is when you only have your two on the top removed, you're going to reduce your upper arch um, 10 to 14 millimeters and your lower arch stays at full size. Well, unless you have a gigantic space between your upper and lower teeth when you bend backwards, it's not going to work. You're going to probably end up with TMJ because what's going to happen is these upper teeth have to come back. When they come back, the lower jaw has to find a way to squeeze back there. So then what happens? Your joints in here are going to start rubbing together. And that's what we're trying to avoid here by telling people the different risk factors. Now, people that don't have extractions, yeah, you can still get TMJ. Because what happens with braces is you're simply using retractive forces to move your mouth backwards. There's, there's some degree of backwards pull on every type of bracket out there, even in the Damon videos. But you know what? When they put the power chains on you to close extraction spaces, right there, you're reducing your arch space, you're reducing your arch width, and that is when the TMJ is most likely. When you, when you hear the word power chain, think TMJ. Because um, that's, that's what you're putting yourself at risk for. Now, different races are at higher risk for TMJ. The race that's at highest risk is Caucasian. Okay? I think African Americans and other folks have a stronger, tougher bone structure, same as male versus female. That could be why 80% of the people that seek treatment for TMJ are women. Um, but I don't want to guess on that. I'm just trying to give you guys straight out numbers. Um, now, some folks just have that one lower incisor removed too you're probably at less risk because you're not reducing your upper arch space, you're only reducing your lower arch space. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I see it done sometimes on here. Okay guys, have a good day. I just kind of wanted to tell you the TMJ risk factors for the type of procedure you're getting done. Aloha.